from the future, from the worries and uncertainty about the future, from the sorrow and the regret concerning the past. And mindfulness with the practice of breathing, walking, and have life. And that appointment takes place in the here and the now, in the present moment. And if, if we miss the present moment, we miss the appointment with life, which is very serious. But as we continue to live with our mindfulness, we always miss the present moment. The practice of uh, mindful walking can be very helpful. Because if we know how to walk, and then every step can bring us home to the here and the now. And we can combine our steps with our in-breath or out-breath. If you know how to combine the breathing and the walking together, and breathe in mindfulness, and walk in mindfulness, and then every step can bring you home to the here and the now, so that you can live our life. Otherwise, you waste our life. We have been living uh, in forgetfulness many, many years. Forgetfulness is the opposite of mindfulness. Mindfulness is to remember that life is a wonder. We are there, and we should live our life deeply. When when you practice uh, walking with uh, a group of people, uh, we can uh, we can we can walk normally, not too quick, not too slow. And uh, breathing in, we might make uh, two steps or three steps. And every step should bring us home to the here and the now. And you may use a word in order to remind you uh, of doing so. I have arrived. I have arrived. I have arrived. I have arrived is not uh, a thought you are not thinking. I have arrived is a means, a kind of device to help you to do what you want to do. I have arrived means I have arrived in the here and the now, where life is available. The address of life is here and now. And you will find out that the kingdom, the address of the kingdom of God is also here and now. That is what I have uh, found. I have shared this uh, insight and practice with many uh, Catholics and Protestants, many, many of them uh, bishop or bishops. And they are very capable of uh, understanding that. I told them that for me, the kingdom of God is available in the here and the now. And you don't have to die in order to go to the kingdom. In fact, it might be too late. (laughs) You have to be very alive in order to step into the kingdom of God. And if you know how to breathe in mindfully, 
and make a step in mindfulness, you can already enter the kingdom. The kingdom is available. The problem remains whether you are available to the kingdom. And the practice of mindfulness is to make yourself available to the kingdom. And if you can go to the kingdom, you don't have to run anymore. You have arrived. Joy and happiness and love is possible when you are in the kingdom. This uh, flower, this lotus flower, she belongs to the kingdom of God. To me, it's very clear. If she does not belong to the kingdom, to what she must be? Um, belong to. And if you are truly there, fully present, you can get in touch with her and the kingdom of God is in her. If you can get in touch with the lotus flower, you get in touch with the kingdom of God. And this is part of the kingdom. This contains the kingdom. Your body also belong to the kingdom of God. It is a wonder. It is a big gift. And many Christian mystics agree with that, with this. You carry the kingdom of God in you. And whatever you touch, you get in touch with also contain the kingdom. And uh, the delusions I spoke to, they are very capable to acknowledge that the kingdom of God is available in the here and now. I told them that uh, if uh, if, you, if they can offer the kind of teaching and practice in, uh, to help the young people to get in touch with the kingdom of God in the here and the now, and then they will stop running after objects of their craving, like essential pleasures, fame, uh, power. Sex and so on. And destroy the body and the mind. And many, many of them are, do not want to do with their life. And they are running after objects of uh, money, like uh, power, like sex, and destroy themselves. So it is possible to offer the kind of teaching and practice that can help uh, the people, people to enjoy the kingdom of God, to, to, to generate joy and peace right in the here and the now. And that is uh, the only way to prevent people from from uh, destroying their body and their mind, running after objects of their craving. But the teaching and the practice should be very concrete. And. Uh, Practitioners should be able to taste, to experience the joy and uh, the happiness of being with the kingdom. In the gospel, there is a there is a, a story of a farmer who found who found a treasure in a piece of land. And he went home and sell everything else uh, to buy that piece of land. If he has that treasure, he doesn't 
He doesn't need anything else. So if we have the kingdom with us in our life, we don't need anything else. And in the light of the practice of mindfulness, the kingdom, the treasure is available the here and the now. Mother Earth is a beautiful planet. She is the most beautiful planet in the whole uh, galaxy. Our scientists have not found a second one. And Mother Earth is very talented. She is beautiful. And we have a chance to be in this planet. And the Kingdom of God for those of us who practice mindfulness is uh, on Earth. It's on Earth. The Kingdom is available, available in the here and the now. And the practice of mindfulness is to make ourselves available to the Kingdom and to practice walking meditation. Mindful walking is to enjoy the Kingdom with every step. Every step has the energy of mindfulness, concentration, and insight. Insight is the Kingdom is here. You don't need to look for, for it elsewhere and in the future. And that insight is not so difficult to get. Just look at this lotus flower and you can see that that flower belongs to the kingdom. The sunshine belongs to the kingdom and you belong to the kingdom. You don't have to go elsewhere or in the future to look for it. That is already an insight. And with the insight you can stop running. And every step bring you home to the here and the now. That is why you can you can declare that you have arrived. I have arrived. If you are mindful and concentrated, <coughs> you can arrive one hundred percent at the address here and now. So I have arrived is a practice and not a statement. And you make the statement with your feet, breathing in, you say, I have arrived. I have arrived. And if you have enough mindfulness, you can arrive truly. And if you can arrive, you can stop the running. You can stop the course. You have been running all the time. All your life, all our life. And the habit of running might have been transmitted to us by our parents and ancestors. So now, with this insight, we can stop the running. And breathing in, I make one step and arrive in the here and the now. And the address is clear. I have arrived. And there are those of us right in the first session of mindful walking can already arrive. And some of us find it difficult because the habit of running is so strong. I remember one day a journalist from Le Monde came here and he was uh, invited to join the walking meditation before he had the interview and he suffered very much during the walk. (laughs) He reported later that It's very exhausting. (laughs) Because he was ill to run, and he had to force himself to go slowly with us. He suffered a lot. (laughs) Episont, that's the the word he he used, episont. (laughs) 
And yet, meanwhile, many of us, most of us, enjoy the kingdom of God with every step. Stopping, experiencing joy and happiness with every step. Because every step can be nourishing and healing. And for him, it's uh, suffering. So we have to train ourselves in walking. We walk in such a way that every step can help us to stop the course, stop the running, to arrive in here and now, and to get in touch with the wonders of life that are available in the here and now. The sunshine is a wonder. The blue sky is a wonder. The beautiful trees are wonders. Everything is wonder. A pebble is a wonder. A butterfly, a child. Even the, the mud that helped the lotus to grow is a wonder. And why uh, you walk with us, you can very well profit from the collective energy of mindfulness generated by the whole group. Because many of us know how to walk and to arrive with every step. So you allow yourself to be embraced by that kind of collective energy and it will be easier for you to arrive with everything. I have arrived. I have arrived.